Well, good Thursday evening, Arkansas. This is Chief Forecast. You're coming back here once again. I'm here to give you guys your evening forecast update for tonight here. So we've got a lot of things, a lot of things to talk about here in terms of the cold front coming in, the timing of the cold front for tomorrow and Saturday. We're going to look at next week. And we're going to look at late next week and the next weekend for the potential of yet another shot of colder air moving in here. So right now, not bad. I mean, we are a little bit warmer than we were yesterday. Yesterday, we had all the cloud cover and rainfall, so it did hold the temperatures down. Uh, but right now, it's still not bad. We've got temperatures in the 70s and low 80s. I think Fort Smith's coming in as the warmest spot right now, 82 degrees. Remember last week when we were talking about the upper 80s, low 90s? And you remember last weekend where some places got close to 100 degrees? This is about a 20 degree drop, 15 to 20 degree drop from much of the area here. So this is awesome, but it is going to get even better from there, from here over the next 24 to 48 hours here. So let's zoom out. Let me just one second. Let's zoom this out. And you guys can see back out here towards the west, temperatures in the 80s still out here, 70s and 80s, not bad. We've had one front come through. That front, that front boundary came through late last night in the early part of this morning here. You can see it on the, on the cold fronts coming in. So there's one front that's all the way draped from Louisiana to Mississippi, all the way back up to the Ohio Valley. The second strongest cold front will be moving in as we get towards tomorrow here. So there's your cold front basically right now, stretched basically from the Texas Panhandle all the way to Missouri, all the way up to the, uh, the Wisconsin area. And you can see the temperatures behind it in the 50s and 60s. That air mass will move into Arkansas as we get towards late tomorrow night in a part of your Saturday morning here in conditions will be breezy we're talking about 20 to 25 mile per hour winds coming out of the northwest um, I'm not really too concerned about wind chills right now but we're going to continue to monitor it, especially um, across northern Arkansas here so let's go ahead and take a look at your evening highlights for tonight here and I mentioned before one front of boundary already came through earlier today we have a second strong cold front that's going to come in tomorrow in a Saturday morning here and then we're going to pay attention to next week which could be even colder temperatures coming in into the natural state here and also one more thing is below normal temperatures will continue for at least the next two weeks or so here so I definitely like the trend especially um, after what we just got to dealing with over the last two weeks here guys so um, as a result of the rainfall that we saw last night there are burn bands that have been dropped uh, Faulkner County is one of those that have been dropped for this round we still have a few left over but I do believe probably Logan and Perry County will probably be dropped uh, probably sometime between tomorrow or Monday. Eastern Arkansas, I'm thinking right now you're probably not going to see those burn bands dropped because they didn't see a lot of rainfall over there uh, last night into this morning here. So keep that in mind. And let's talk about the wildfire danger here. And the biggest thing with this, I do believe this will probably get updated tomorrow and into Monday to kind of account for how much moisture we got from the rainfall we saw this past um, this past 24 hours. So I think you could probably slash that Searcy, Clinton, all the way down to the metro down to Texarkana and the Magnolia area. Eastern Arkansas, you didn't see much, so the wildfire risk will still be a problem over there, but it's not as high as it was about a month or so ago, guys. So um, definitely some good news that we see across the board. Now, let's talk about the cold front timing for tomorrow here. The cold front will be moving in as we get towards tomorrow afternoon, especially across northwestern Arkansas, around 6, 7 o'clock in the evening for central Arkansas. So if you're attending any football games or you're going out to eat or something like that or any outdoor plans tomorrow evening, Bring a hoodie because you're going to have wind gusts about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Temperatures rapidly dropping the later you get into the night. So you want to bring that hoodie, especially if you don't like temperatures in the 50s. And then in southern Arkansas, it should be clearing through just a little bit after midnight down there in southern Arkansas. This should be a dry front. No severe weather is expected with this front of boundary. Um, and it should clear through by the time we get towards tomorrow night here with much cooler conditions coming in for your Saturday with daytime highs struggling struggling to get out of the 50s in north arkansas and barely making it into the 60s across central and south arkansas here so let's talk about tonight here like i mentioned before that first front moved through last night so you do have some cooler air in presence and right now Temperatures are going to fall into the upper 40s across northwestern Arkansas, mid to upper 50s to low 60s across the state here. And like I mentioned before, that stronger push of cold air, cold air is going to move in as we get towards late tomorrow here. So let's go ahead and talk to you guys about some model data here. And this is the WPC over the next seven days. And granted, just give me just one second. I've got to move this. There we go. So this is the WPC over the next seven days here. And not a lot of rainfall is to be expected. Now, keep in mind, 
This is all the way until Thursday evening at about 7 p.m. So we're going to have a frontal boundary. It's probably going to move through probably on Friday. So we'll probably see this, like, like we saw with the last event, we'll probably see the rainfall totals gradually increase as confidence grows um, with the cold front as we get towards next week here. So let's take a look at the euro. And this is just kind of looking at the upper air temperatures here. And you're going to see this is, uh, let me take this back all the way through so this is uh tomorrow evening and tomorrow night you can see that green even some purples that has a lot of cold air coming in so that's going to be moving in as we get towards tomorrow and the saturday here that air mass will be in and out it's going to be out of here by the time we get towards sunday evening you'll start noticing temperatures starting to warm up just a little bit but this is not going to be like you know 90s or 100s are going to come back it's not going to be that warm could I see some 80s? Yeah, definitely, as we get towards next week. But I'm not expecting the massive warm-up like we saw over the last two weeks here, guys. If, if you want my honest opinion, I think we're done with the 90s. But I'll wave that white flag once we get into the middle and late part of the month here. So there's your upper level low responsible for the colder air coming in, guys. Kind of up there in the Great Lakes in southern Canada, just kind of spinning through. And you can kind of see that on the top right corner of your screen. And you can see by the time we get towards next week, southerly flow comes back. Temperatures start to warm back up um, a little bit here. It's not going to not gonna be a big deal, but that's just kind of as a result of your next cold start coming in. Look over there towards Colorado, western Kansas. That is that colder air beginning to move into the state. And I'm using colder weather because I think temperatures with this shot may not get out of the 50s. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Computer model data is still fighting on the temperatures right now here, but you can see by the time we get towards Friday evening, there's your front voucher coming through, similar to tomorrow, but this has a much, much stronger shot of cold air coming in, and you can see by the darker purples across the area here as we get towards next Saturday. Some temperatures, like I said before, Probably won't get out of the 50s for highs as we get towards next Saturday here. So we'll have to keep that in mind across the area here. No breezy conditions as well. We can zoom this down to Arkansas so you guys can kind of see the temperature profiles here. But well, well below normal temperatures coming in as we get towards late next week here. So that's an 18Z. Let's go back over to the 12Z real quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this out. This is next week. Like I said before, there's your temperatures come back. So you can see some upper 70s, low 80s. Still not bad for this time of the year. Um, actually, your, your average is around 80 degrees. So you're, you're right around average, maybe a little bit above that. But you can see the, the cold front as clear as day coming in late Thursday night and early Friday morning. We could have some storms with this as well. I'm, I'm monitoring the severe threat as we get towards next week here. And then you can see by the time you get towards Friday, if you go with the, the GFS, not GFS, the Euro, you won't have to deal with a severe threat. It's going to be like late Thursday night, early Friday morning, coolest part of the day. Severe threat will be very, very low. But you can see with cold front coming through, there's daytime highs on Friday. Look at there. Some upper 40s can be possible in northwestern Arkansas with this. So we are rapidly transitioning here. And I'm, I'm kind of worried a little bit that we're actually transitioning from summer to fall and then right to winter. I've seen that happen before in previous years. So we'll have to keep that in mind here. But this is your temperatures. This is a year, by the way. Temperatures in the low 40s, some upper 30s up there in northwestern Arkansas, near 50 degrees elsewhere. And this is daytime highs as we get towards next Saturday here. 50s, northwestern Arkansas. I'm arguing the upper, the low 60s. We'll have to wait and see how, how massive this cold shot's going to be as we get towards next week. Let me just take this down a little bit so you guys can see southern Arkansas. But there's the upper 50s, northwestern Arkansas, 60s elsewhere. And then by the time we get towards next weekend here, look at that. Back in the 40s flows, some upper 30s being possible. The GFS has a different opinion. I'm going to show you the GFS real quick, and I'm going to end the video. But here's GFS at that exact same time here. So this is coming in as we get towards next week. You already know about the cold shot coming in this weekend. Temperatures like on Saturday. And look at there. Low 60s across the state. Some upper 60s in southern Arkansas here. But we'll have to see. You may break 70 down there, but we'll keep an eye on that. Let's take this out to Sunday morning. Very cold conditions. If you're planning on going to church Sunday morning, bring a hoodie. It's going to be very, very chilly across the area. And like I said before, you can re you're going to rebound pretty quick. I don't agree with the GFS trying to rebound, trying to rebound us back into the 90s like that. I don't think that's going to be the case. Uh, but let's take this out. You guys are going to see. There's your cold front next week. Okay, so this is around Thursday evening. Cold front coming in northwestern Arkansas. I will keep an eye on any severe threats as we get towards next week. It shouldn't be a big deal, but we'll keep an eye on here. But you can see by the time you get towards next Friday, I don't buy the GFS right now. It's got temperatures for highs 
and Northwest Arkansas in the 40s. Man, I we'll see about all that. I think it'll be a blend of the two. Uh, but you can see by the time you get towards uh, Friday night and Saturday, there's your daytime highs coming in on Saturday here. So both GFS and Euro are, are kind of hinting at 60s. We'll see how strong this cold air, air mass is because I've noticed the temperatures have dropped uh, with this round where we were originally supposed to be in the 70s for highs. But you can see upper 50s, low 60s for lows, and then overnight lows as we get towards next Sunday. I can't rule out, by the way, North Arkansas. There could be a frost potential as we get towards next weekend here. So we'll keep you guys updated on that. That's all I got for you guys this evening. I hope you guys got some plans this weekend because it's going to be very beautiful weather coming back to the natural state. And we're finally done with the upper 80s and low 90 temperatures here. It's actually going to feel like fall coming up here in the next couple of days here. So we'll continue to keep you guys updated right here in your source for all things Arkansas weather.